Shalom, here we are in Jerusalem with Father Kevin Cable, who is a Jewish believer and priest of the Anglican Church. Can you share with us some misunderstandings that some people may have in the nations about Israel? Um, one of the things that uh, people think about Israel is they read a lot of information in the West about life here, and they think it's an apartheid state, and that term is used. You know, it is an apartheid state like South Africa was. Um, and there is a sense when you read these, these articles that anyone who, who's not a Jewish Israeli is oppressed. Um, but I would say from our experience and where we live in Israel, that word apartheid is just simply not correct. You know, we've got neighbors of all different backgrounds, all different religions, who have been successful in their working life, who, who would tell you they've had every opportunity to thrive here. You know, you can be, uh, you can run for president, you can be a Supreme Court justice, you can be a policeman, and men many are. If you're from a different background, from an Arab background, for example, you can serve um, uh, in all kinds of areas of life in Israel, as much as anyone else. You enjoy the same rights as anyone else. Now, um, I don't know about you, but apartheid states that, that I've read about in history, you don't have anywhere near that level of rights or live in a democracy that promotes and protects those rights. Now, that's not to say Israel doesn't have its problems like any country. But for me, the suggestion that there is this kind of systematic oppression um, that is persecuting anyone who's not a Jewish Israeli, it's simply untrue. Uh, and in relation to that, I would say, if you want to even begin to understand Israel, um, and get the real picture of life here, then come. Don't come and do a pilgrimage tour with a tour guide. Just come. Come and see what it's like. Spend some time here, more, more than just a week, and you'll get to know the people that live here, whatever their background. Go and visit different places and learn about life here. And I think people's misconceptions that this is... Um, either an apartheid state or even before the war, people think living in Israel, that you all walk around thinking there's going to be a, you know, a terrorist attack or there's going to be guns going off or you know, something terrible is going to happen. Well, actually, you don't walk around like that. I mean, okay, I appreciate it's different at the moment, but certainly in, in, in the three years we've been here, you know, Israel is a vibrant, uh, colourful place to live and actually a place from what we've seen, where people can coexist with their neighbours and, you know, we want to help where they can. I think the other thing I would say is that, you know, Israelis can be seen as rather brusque and, um, you know, they can be quite direct people. Uh, and in fact, today we were in a, in a bookshop in Jerusalem and I picked up a book that said, you know, the essential guide to Israeli manners and etiquette. And you open it, and it's blank. And the point of, of, of the book is, it's a joke, because everyone knows etiquette and manners in Israel need some work. Um, and, and it's true, you can go to a restaurant, and you won't get customer service necessarily like you would elsewhere in the world. And um, sometimes shopping can be a, a real experience. But I can tell you now that if you fell over, or you needed help, Israelis would be the first to help you doesn't matter who you are, what your background is, they would step up and help you in your time of need. And they would do that without question. Now, coming from the UK, I can tell you that's no longer the case there. And it's no longer the case in many parts of the world. But that sense of hospitality that the, the, the people of Israel have and, and of being there for people who are, who are in need really is um, quite striking and amazing. I think the last thing I would say is I was given um, three bits of advice by a very, very wise person I know here in Jerusalem uh, who's lived here many, many years um, when we first came to Israel. This, this is what he said. He said, to survive and thrive in Israel, you need to be three things. First, don't be flexible. Be fluid. Be prepared to just, um, you know, change plans at, at a moment's notice because this is not a country that operates um, you know, to strict working hours and uh, to forward planning. 
it's, sometimes it can be a bit uh, chaotic. Secondly is to not take offence. Um, people are direct here. You know, uh, many times I've been asked uh, in conversation with someone I may have even met for five minutes, uh, how much do you earn? Or you know, tell me about your, 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 your family life. Or what we would consider perhaps in the West personal questions. Well, they'll just ask here. So don't take offence. And the last thing is to remember that when you come here, you're a guest. And that's important because as a guest, I come in here not having grown up here and not having been uh, through the education system or some of the cultural things going on. And so, yes, I'm entitled to my opinion, but I will never have the same understanding as if I was born and raised in the land. Um, and so I need to remember, and if you, if you come here, you need to remember that you're a guest.